Hey guys, welcome to a new video. My name is Rosa. I am a second year resident doctor in the field of internal medicine working in the north of Germany. And today's video is all about how to work as a doctor in Germany. I got a few questions in the comment sections of other videos I did in the past and I got the feeling that a few of you are asking yourself what the steps are to become a doctor here or to work as a doctor when you're already a doctor in another country. So I thought I would give you a hopeful, <laughs> hopefully helpful um, brief step to step what you do and what you have to do in order to work here as a doctor. So to give you a little bit of a background information, um, I was born and raised in Germany, but I moved to Austria to study medicine. So I'm technically um, a graduate from abroad, but because I studied in the EU, it is um, much more easier for me to get registered here as a doctor. The first thing you have to do in order to work here as a doctor is to get your approbation. So the approbation is a document um, from a federal state of your choice. In and in order to get that, you need to <laughs> go through a lot of paperwork, especially when you are from not the EU. And when you have 16 states, which are called Bundesländer, in Germany and when you are thinking about moving to Germany to work as a doctor you need to decide which state you are interested in. Um, that being said each state has an approbation authority center in which you have to apply for the approbation. So I'm gonna link a list down below for each authority. To apply to these authorities you don't really need a job beforehand so you just need to declare why you are applying for an approbation and it can be as simple as that you want to pursue your um, doctor's career here and there are obviously a few documents you need in order to get your approbation the first thing is a birth certificate and an uh, id so the language qualification in order to work here as a doctor um, needs to be a B2 at least and a C1 if you are working as a specialist. So the other thing is a criminal record um, certificate, which is also handled from an uh, authority in Berlin. And um, as far as I know, you also need a criminal record from your home country. And then, last but not least, you need your graduation certificate. If you have already worked as a doctor somewhere abroad, you need a what we call a logbook, which you are handled by hospitals all over the world to um, check which um, you know procedures you have already achieved, how many patients you have seen, how many ultrasound you did and stuff like that. And then it's gonna be transformed to our system. There is a website called Anabin, which is providing information um, for educational applications um, and qualifications abroad. So if you have um, studied somewhere else and you want to know if your um, degree is counted here, you can go to that website and get that calculated. That also speaks for job qualifications, not only degrees. And also if you want to go to school here, you can also get your um, like degree to till then calculated. If you are, are already a doctor somewhere else or if you have graduated uh, medical school from somewhere else and you want to come here you need to take an Kenntnis Prüfung. So a Kenntnis Prüfung is basically a state exam which we all take um, um, in the last days of medical school and um, that involves a 16 to 90 oral and practical exam which you are basically showing your um, patient examination skills in German. You also get a lot of questions about internal medicine and surgery. Um, there are other topics as well which, are, which you can get tested on, um, which is basically a little bit depending on uh, your federal state and um, the degree you have already. Let's speak about the costs. My application for approbation was the easiest you can imagine and I already paid 300 euros to get this piece of paper I showed you before. So it is not the most um, 
like cheap application um, you can imagine and depending on if you need a language test and other documentations it can get very expensive so um, to get a German uh, language qualification it kind of depends what what degree you need if you need a B2 or a C1 but costs are um, between 300 and 600 euros and the candidate's test is around 400 euros to 1100 euros and the costs kind of depends on your um, federal state when you are in the north like for example in Schleswig-Holstein it is much cheaper to take this candidate's test than in Hessen that's just one example and you need to be aware of that before you apply um, how to prepare for the Kenntnis Prüfung? Um, there are quite a few ways to prepare for it. Um, students in Germany and in Austria and in Switzerland always use an uh, online platform called Ambers. So Ambers is great for um, reviewing all the internal medicine surgery questions you're gonna get and it's also calculated on the state exam um, level which is really, really easy. You get a lot of multiple choice questions. It doesn't really cost a lot of money for the subscription per year. I am not a student anymore, but, and I pay, um, I think, 80 euros a year. So that is okay, I think. Um, but there are also some academies, which um, I'm gonna list down below, which are going to help you um, to prepare for the Kenntnis Prüfung. So what is going to happen afterwards? After you got your approbation, you can apply for jobs. So in Germany, you just apply for a doctor position as you would apply for any other job position. There is no um, matching system. Um, the Kenntnis Prüfung doesn't define which speciality you're gonna take. It's very, very different from the USMLE. And um, yeah, so you, there are some platforms where you can check out if there are job offers um, you can use praktischarzt.de and you can also um, go to the individual hospital websites and look for job offers. There, it is very common that a lot of hospitals don't really make their job offers public. You need to do motivational application, which means that you just send your CV and your you know letter. Uh, of application to the hospital just you know in the hope that there is a position free and there are so many so many times that people got their jobs this way I got my job this way um, there was no public um, job offer in the internet I just applied and got an answer a few days later so yeah so bigger cities are obviously a little bit more um, multicultural there are a lot of people from all over the world um, and it is not really strange or anything to work there when you are from another country. Um, in my hospital we have so many people from abroad, um, not only doctors but also nurses, it is so cool and um, people are fine with it. But if you're going to a like, smaller area in Germany, um, that could be different, like um, maybe there are not a lot of people from abroad, you can feel a little bit isolated. And um, that being said, though, there are still more and more chances to get a job in rural areas and in the countryside than in the bigger cities. The bigger cities are more competitive, so if you don't have any work experience, it is um, not really much likely and that depending on your speciality to get a job in a bigger city for example dermatology plastic surgery ophthalmology um, ENT they are very highly competitive and the chances to get a first position in your career in for example Hamburg where I'm from is very very minimal so just um, keep that in in your mind when you're applying somewhere else is it worth it to move to Germany in order to work as a doctor here. So I could make another like whole video on this topic, but this question is not really easily answered. It really much depends on you and what you want and what is important to you. Um, the first question you have to ask yourself is why you are considering moving from your own country. And there could be a lot of reasons, not only work related reasons, but also safety reasons. Like obviously we have a lot of countries in this world which are uh, unfortunately in wars, in revolutions, um, 
in poverty, where the healthcare system is collapsing, um, even like our neighbour, the UK, um, the NHS is suffering big times. So um, there are so many different um, reasons and that question is not answered by me. <laughs> um, that question should be answered by you. Moving to another country which is speaking another language is always hard and it doesn't matter how digital we are and how connected we are through the internet. It is isolating in the beginning. And financially, I think you will do well. Um, you will have a comfortable life. Uh, you can save up a little bit more of money, have holidays, rent a good apartment, or even you know, get a uh, or try to buy a property. You also earn above average. Um, you know, the question of money is always individual this german healthcare system is great but it's also strained and we are understaffed um we do have the same issues other countries have but maybe in another amount depending on where you're coming from 22 percent of the german population is over 65 so we have quite a big um, elderly group here and obviously when everyone's getting older there are some more diseases you have to handle, you also have to handle the social questions like elderly homes and if there are um, enough to provide for, for the health and the mental health. A few months ago there were some reports of children hospitals being in crisis in Germany, um, special intensive care units of children hospitals because a lot of people um, a lot of children that are very, very sick have to wait for hours in the emergency room to get um, to see a doctor. It is not as bad as other countries, I have to say that, but it is developing to the same um, path. And the healthcare system all over the world is very much strained and struggling, um, especially since the pandemic. The problems have been there before, but with the pandemic, everything became, became very transparent and so many people quit their jobs because they couldn't manage to keep themselves healthy. And because of that, so many departments are understaffed, um, which results in longer waiting hours, which results in sicker patients getting not um, treated in the same second they arrive. And yeah, but I don't think that's a German problem. That's a universal problem which the world has to deal with differently. So is it worth working in Germany? To me it is because otherwise I wouldn't be here. But again, this very much depends on what you want. If you want to have a safe life, a good life, a life with quality and peace and be financial financially independent um that is offered here yeah i have also talked about in another video of how much a doctor in germany and um, said so go and check that out if you want to know the exact um numbers but the other thing that is um to consider is that germany is very slow in digitalization they are trying but everything takes long time here so we do everything on the computer but the computer system is a struggle itself and there are some like hospitals which are still working on paper especially like ge geriatrics and intensive care um, departments so um yeah not everything is digital here but it's going to get there <laughs> it's just taking a lot of time so guys that is it for today's video i hope i could help you a little bit with the process of working here and how to get um, your, your feet in the healthcare system here. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. I also link everything I said in the description box. That being said, um, the whole process of working here or being able to work here can be very draining. Um, Germany is very famous for their paperwork. I think with Japan, <laughs> It is very much um, on the same level, but when you got through it, I think you will be happy. Um, just bear that in mind that it can take a long time to use this process. And when you are thinking about coming here, just start early. 
my colleague who's from Syria, um, he had a special case, but he was working as a cardiologist in Syria for quite some time. And his process uh, took around a year to get accepted here as the doctor he is, but on the same level he was in Syria. So um, just bear that in mind, it can take a long time. Hey guys, I hope you liked this video and I will see you soon. Bye!